In this part of New Hampshire, environmental activism and sustainability are not passing trends. They're a way of life. And at the soul of outdoor brand, Timberland. Timberland's vision is to be the largest, most sustainable outdoor lifestyle brand on earth. It's a big, lofty goal that we really do believe in making a difference in the way we make our products. And then also, how do we make a difference in terms of our communities? Founded in Newmarket and headquartered in Stratum, Timberland is best known for its classic yellow boot. Nearly every boot made today uses at least some recycled material, says sustainability director Colleen Vian. The thread line is fantastic. So Thread is a partner of ours that they have created a canvas that uses recycled plastic bottles. We've been using recycled PET in our products for years. In fact, we've already over 270 million plastic bottles have been repurposed into lining or canvas for our footwear. Likewise, we've always been looking for uses of recycled rubber. I had a pair like this in high school that I loved. I can't believe these are made out of recycled plastic. That's incredible. People don't think of Timberland in that way, so I, they're very surprised to see how we're evolving from a true outdoors hiking type of brand to something that's much more broad or the, the more versatile urban environment. Down the road in Newcastle, Wentworth by the Sea, a favorite of visitors to this region. We have a lot of guests that are coming to visit Durham, visiting UNH, the New Market area. So it's not only, of course, an absolutely gorgeous place to both work and to live. The people here are extremely down to earth. Um, they take an immense amount of pride in the area. And like other local businesses, Wentworth is stepping into sustainability. Our guests do have an option to participate in our guest choice program to do limited housekeeping services, which also saves on water and, and laundry and things like that. And also we participate with a lot of local farms in the area and our restaurant. Back in Newmarket, a stop at the Stone Church. It was a church. It was built in the late 1800s. At one point, I think there was a roller derby upstairs. Um, or like a roller rink or something like that. It's been a music venue since the 60s. Though you may not know the Stone Church, you may know who's played here. Fish, Derek Trucks, band John Schofield, Aerosmith, Bonnie Raitt. Hoping to join their ranks, young bands take the stage several nights a week. I do sound for the open mic night. A lot of young bands come in, families with their kids who come and perform as family bands, and uh, people come up and like they kind of test out music. It's kind of fun for everybody to have that opportunity. 